today I'm adding two Li Time 48 volt 100 amp hour batteries to my current solar system. Even with making a lot less videos these days, I still get bombarded weekly from manufacturers and affiliate marketers uh, through emails wanting me to market their products for them. 99 out of 100 of these things are yeah, not stuff that I want to promote. But on a rare occasion, I come across a product that one, would be of actual benefit to my homestead, and two, could be of benefit to your homestead. So, win-win. A couple weeks ago, the company LI Time, and that's for Lithium Industries, they reached out to me a couple weeks ago and asked if they could send me one of their batteries in exchange for a review. They specifically mentioned an unboxing. I have two batteries for my current system, which are 48 volt, 100 amp per hour lithium iron batteries. So I told the company about my 48 volt, 100 amp hour batteries, and that it would be best if I had two of them because two is better than one. So in addition to the one here, there is one down on the floor. These batteries are heavy; they're about a hundred pounds. So I only wanted to hoist one up on the table to keep my back happy. Once we get the battery out, I'm going to wire it in parallel with the other batteries using this bus bar system. We'll get into that in a little bit. Let's first open up the battery. Having never done an unboxing video before, not entirely sure what to say about all this. I've seen a couple of these videos though, and usually people like comment on the smell. It's like, yeah, it smells like, no, well, it smells like vinyl. Uh, but it is like a really nice pouch that the user manual and comes in. It's like a vinyl protector with branding on it and stickers. Well, you can't really see them. Stickers. Like mounting hardware, I guess. Ah, another box. Like I said, these batteries are almost 100 pounds. They're like 95 pounds or something like that. So, this is not... Ugh. Not the easiest unboxing. One thing I like about these batteries already compared to my current batteries is have these handles. Looks like they're attached to the like, metal chassis here. I got it down on this little utility cart I bought. It's the same one as I bought for the other ones and it works pretty well. Again, we have these awesome handles on here which made this way easier to get down there. Uh, positive terminal, negative terminal, on and off switch. Pretty straightforward. It's kind of it. My other batteries have this digital readout on it with like, so you can turn the screen on and off. But these batteries, which are going to do the exact same job, are a lot less money than those other batteries. That's why I was so excited about this battery. This is made in China, so are my expensive batteries, both made in China. So it was really important that the charge rate on this battery was super close to my other batteries, and it is. They're very, very close, so they're gonna charge at the same rate, so it's not gonna cause my system any problems. It'll integrate very nicely. What are your thoughts on the batteries, Willow? Yeah. I ran into a little bit of an issue though. I decided to do the manual and the manual said to charge each battery individually before setting them up in parallel and then connecting them to the rest of the system. So I'm doing that. That's what this is with all the fan noise going. This is my battery charger going here. The thing is though, I have no idea how long this is gonna take. While those batteries are charging though, I'm going to go ahead and get started with wiring the bus bar to the existing batteries. I just took the lid off of this and essentially this is going to connect the two sets of batteries. These right here are going to go out through the wall into the garage where the rest of my solar bank is so the electricity from the solar panels and the charge controller and all that is going to feed into here and then I'll have the positive and negative for one pair of batteries here and for the other pair there and that'll 
link all of them together in this tidy little package. These batteries were probably around 50% each because each one of them took several hours to charge. So I wasn't able to finish filming on the same day. Now they're fully charged, we're ready for the next step. My previous batteries are wired in parallel, connected to the bus bar. Bus bar is connected to the inverter out on the other side of the wall there. Which means it's time to get these wired in parallel and then also connected to the bus bar. The only problem is, the lugs on the end of the cables are too wide. I contacted LI Time, the battery company, and asked them to send me a link to the cables that they recommend. I did this through Amazon. I ordered a three foot version of the cable and a one foot version to connect the two batteries together in parallel. The one foot version that they sent is still too wide. It's the same as my existing cables. And the three foot version is half the thickness. It is the right size lug though. It, that size right there will definitely fit there. My plan is to see if I can cut this plastic tab off separating the two terminal posts. And that way I should be able to get my lug to fit right in there. It was a little messy, but it seemed to work. And hopefully that'll fit. Let me get this wired up and see if it does before we do the rest of them. Good news and bad news. The good news is one cable fits on. The bad news is a second will not. It's too wide still. I figure I have two options. Option one is to cut the rest of this plastic off. Now keep in mind I have to do it three more times after this one. With this out of the way, I'm pretty sure I can fit both of them on there. The other option is I use a smaller cable that I got from Amazon and that fits right in there. It's not ideal to be using the smaller gauge cable, but in the circumstances where I need to get this job done, make sure the batteries are all good for this review, um, I did check with my solar consultant and he did say that it is okay though not ideal in the circumstance, that I won't be drawing too much juice through there where it's gonna create an issue. So for today, I'm going to proceed with the smaller gauge cable and not do a hacksaw job on all the terminals here and continue my search for the larger two aught cable with maybe a smaller lug on it. I cut off the rest of the tabs. Got everything wired accordingly, so this is in parallel. The left battery has the negative going out to the bus bar. The right battery has the positive going. They're meeting there, going out to the inverter, or correction, the inverter's going out this way. So now I just need to turn on the inverter and change it from 200 amp hours to 400. So it's set to 200 right now. We need to change that to 400. Boom. Select. State of charge, 100%. So that meter is telling me the batteries are recognized by the inverter charger and everything's working. I'm checking these cables now to make sure there's not any heat buildup. With them being smaller cables, there's more resistance of the energy flowing through the cable uh, which creates heat and I'm not feeling any. I'm going to keep checking back on this over the next few days make sure there's not any uh, dangerous accumulation of heat. Hopefully there won't be any and the system will be good to go as is in case I can't find 
the better cables I'm looking for. If you want to learn more about these batteries from Li or Li Time, check the link down below in the description as well as the coupon codes. And depending on when you're seeing this, there's various specials going on on their website to get some pretty nice savings on these batteries. Also leave a link in the description for the cables I use. And if I find the 2 aught cable, the larger one that I like with the smaller lug on it, I'll update the description as well and put that link in there. If you guys want to see me put these batteries to the test and actually go off grid with them for a bit, then uh, leave a comment down below and let me know if that's something you'd be interested in seeing and we can make another video putting this battery bank to the test. Hopefully on a sunnier day, it's overcast today, so we get some solar regeneration going on as well.